hello and welcome to this video tutorial in this tutorial I'll be teaching you something about animate function now in the previous tutorial we learned about um, uh, things like of uh, height paint show um, slide toggle etc now um, I thought um, instead of um, telling what animate function is uh, we'll create a slider with uh, animate function so we'll learn animate function at the same time we'll also end up uh, creating a slider so the slider that you are seeing now is what we are trying to make so i'll split this tutorial into two parts the first part w in the first part we'll be discussing some basic css uh, which uh, has to be done uh, before we we code the jquery thing so yeah we'll get started uh, now uh, i've deleted all the previously written code now I've what i have is a script tag and a head um, and a body inside the body i'm going to have a wrapper okay oh sorry div id of wrapper wrapper and then close the div and now the next thing that i want to have is uh, to style it so i open a style tag style and close it now uh, okay now before i start a styling wrapper i need to select uh, i need to have something called a universal selector okay now the reason why i have a universal selector is uh, okay now that that i'll i'll explain later but uh, for the time being i'll just uh, style wrapper wrapper uh, i'll have a width of um, say 900 pixel and height of 900 pixel okay and i'll also give a background color background hyphen color of uh, red okay now i'll go back to firefox open that page index.html and refresh it this is what i get now if uh, if i I've, if i make uh, my website inside this wrapper then it's going to be like this so I have a white uh, thin white strip over here another white strip over here and a huge white uh, box over here uh, area over here so which is something uh, which I really don't want now I my website should be at the center it should be situated at the center and it should be pressed towards the top so how do I do that so in order to do that what I do is um, I, I, I do some I select I code something like a universal selector which is represented as star and uh, and the properties that I give uh, to this particular thing is margin top hyphen zero pixel and margin left uh, is zero pixel so what this does is now this will select every element which uh, inside inside this body tag so and it tells that I don't want any margin um, towards the left and towards the top so if I refresh it it becomes pressed towards the top left corner so I can say I have created a kind of a reference point at this point okay now the next thing that I want to do is I want to center this uh, wrapper so what I do is I'll create um, I'll give two CSS properties that is margin hyphen left as auto and margin hyphen right as auto Oh. I oh, go back to Firefox and refresh this page and I get uh, the wrapper centered okay now whatever screen resolution uh, that you are opening this page it will also always be centered suppose if I hit control minus it w it is centered okay so even if the screen resolution is changing it will also uh, always be centered the next thing that I want to do is um, create a an idea of a box now this will uh, in, as in the previous tutorial this will contain all all the previously declare uh, all the functions I mean uh, this will contain the slider so uh, we'll just um, create something called a box now uh, the box should have a length and width of uh, of same as that of the image so the image is 6600 by 300 so i'll give a height of uh, height of 300 pixel and a width of 300 uh, 600 pixel and 
okay that's it now the next thing that I want to do is uh, is again another div of ID all slider now basically what this does is this div will contain contain all the uh, this div will contain all the uh, what I uh, all the slide images okay now here what we do is uh, here I put images slash first one okay I'll copy that image name um, and then paste it over here then I'll give a class of image and then copy the entire thing then paste it over here copy the next image and paste it over here and then copy the next image paste it away next one okay for the time being we'll be satisfied with four images okay that's again a spelling mistake now once I've done that I need to give a styling I mean I've declared um, for every image I've given a class of image so I'll give I'll declare uh, or I'll do the styling for that class so it is a class uh, of image so I put a dot and then type in image so it has a width of three uh, 600 pixels and then a height of height of 300 pixel that should have a float which is left okay I'll open this in uh, Firefox okay so this is how it looks now the next thing that I want to do is uh, is give a style for this uh, ID as the ID is uh, all slider now this will have all the slider in it so the length of uh, the slider should be the multiple of uh, the length of one slide into the number of slides or if I have uh, 600 pixel wide uh, images and I have four images then the the length of this slide should be 600 into 4 which is equal to 2400 pixels so for the time being we'll keep uh, this as say 2400 pixels and height as uh, 300 pixels and then we have a float of uh, a left and uh, yeah okay now we'll see what's gonna happen so I refresh it so what what's happening over here is that this uh, the images get left aligned so we have a long um, all um, div call all slider which will contain all the images so the next thing that we are going to do is it is the most important thing or uh, it is it is it is on this particular thing that the the entire slider works now I'm gonna make box absolute position position absolute absolute and and the next thing that I'm gonna do is overflow so overflow I take it hidden so when I go back to Firefox and refresh the page I just see one image but then the rest of the images are not deleted it is there but it is not displayed the reason why it is not displayed is okay I have this one image over here the second image goes over there the blue thing that it is visible over here the blue thing the blue uh, background that comes over 
is, is actually representing the image. It is not displayed because we have given a now flow property which is hidden. Okay, now we just want to place this uh, um, this div in the center, and we, I don't want that uh, red background. So I'll take away take that uh, background also. So wrapper uh, my background color red. Okay, and uh, and I'll pro pro give a margin of uh, margin of uh, margin left of say 150 pixel so what happens is it will get aligned over here and it will also will uh, I'll also give a margin top of 30 pixel so what happens over here is we have this um, aligned like this now the next thing that we want to do is uh, yeah uh, so we are uh, finished with the CSS part uh, CSS and HTML part of the slider in the next part we'll be um, using animate function and we'll be uh, rolling each image uh, sliding each image so hope you learned something from this website I mean this tutorial uh, my name is Hari and um, have a great day thank you